more so van can uh it's gonna be a busy day i think sorry i haven't kept up with you guys lately uh it's been crazy busy with the seasonal changeovers i've been working long days and long nights catching up with paperwork and the stuff so it has been a extremely busy month of april hence why no new uploads uh, and then this morning I had a cancellation uh, the other day and I had an emergency call. Uh, so we're going to be heading out to a vehicle that was, I think it was repaired by another shop. Anyways, so it's pissed all its oil out all over the floor. So I've got some extra oil with me. Uh, we're going to go have a look at that, see what we can do with it today. Uh, I've got some other extra items for that vehicle as well. And then this afternoon I've got an oil change and a seasonal rotation as well and then that's me done for the weekend. So it's been a very busy week and uh, time's ticking. I've got to get to my client and I've got to fill up so I'm going to do my best to try and get you involved today. Alright, we'll see you soon. <laughs> I was going to say we'll see you soon. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you uh, follow me for the day. Alright, thank you. All right, we have just arrived uh, for the uh, Ram cargo van. I'm just waiting for my client to pop out for the uh, loss of oil. I can see oil underneath the vehicle. Just had a quick look at the front of the uh, of the uh, car. It's a Ram cargo van, so basically it's a Dodge Caravan, but it's a panel type vehicle, panel derived uh, car, a bit like what you see in Europe. So. We'll get in and have a look. It doesn't look like it's coming from the uh, oil pan, but so I have a feeling it's coming from the top. So I'll uh, I'll give you a show, shall I? All right. So now we're having a look at this. As you can see, there's a crack on the manifold there, right here. So someone's over tightened this plastic in this valley. This is a new part and it's full of oil and it's got a bunch of oil over here too as well as underneath the vehicle so I'm going to pull off the upper intake and have a look see if we can get a better look without draining the cooling system yet and we'll go from there alright as you can see the weather took a turn for the worst we've found the root cause of the gross oil leak on the Dodge, well it's a Ram crew van, so it's a Dodge Grand Caravan, and let's go have a look shall we? Alright, so as you can see I had to do some gross disassembly, it is raining. Now, let's get this cooling hose out of the way, as you can see it filled the valley with oil, and it spilled all the way down the gearbox, I had to drain the vehicle of coolant, otherwise there would have been a huge mess, as you can see it's a bit of a there's oil all over this engine. It's a bit of a shabby day to be working. As you can see, this O-ring here has been damaged by the last installer. This vehicle came from another city. And it just been repaired there. As you can see, they were pretty forceful. I don't think they probably cleaned up the hole where it's supposed to go. So there we have it now i'm gonna to have to dig through my o-ring see if i've got one the right size that thing's pretty hard too so we'll have how are these other ones they're still supple that's this one that's okay i mean this thing is supposed to be brand new and someone made a boo-boo I'm not sure if I've got time to fix it today. If I don't have an O-ring for it, I'll have to see if I can get another O-ring. If not, another oil cooler. So, there we have it. That's this morning. I've got my barrel down there of coolant to be recycled. So, let's go digging for some O-rings. See what we can find. Alright, so, as you saw... That o-ring was damaged by the previous installer. Now, unfortunately, I looked through my set of universal o-rings, and I did find one that was 
looks like it'd be suitable, but the last thing I want to do is stick a universal O-ring in there and then stick it back into the block and it could possibly crack the aluminium tube that comes out of the block. So I think the best course of action is to either see if I can find like a ceiling set for it or it might even be a new oil filter housing. Now, one thing I did note, find when I was draining the coolant, there were a couple of shards of, looked like brass in the oil filter cleats, and there were some chunks of metal in the coolant itself, or they'd come out the oil passages when I was lifted the, uh, when I drained the oil filter cooler housing out into the uh, coolant drain bucket. So they could have come from oil, uh, oil galleries, or the uh, coolant side, so that is concerning. So the engine could be ruined from the uh, previous installer who uh, installed that uh, oil filter uh, housing cooler assembly. So best course of action, I'm gonna go away, see if I can find a new ceiling kit, or might be a new housing. Get it all back together, get oil in it, get coolant in it, run it, and see if the <laughs> see if the engine's still any good. Um, and uh, if I can, I'll check the oil pressure. This will uh, might be able to hear it knock away. Who knows, right? So uh, they'll probably revisit this vehicle later next week. It is Saturday, so I'll probably revisit it later on in the week so I'll see if I can do an update video if not if you follow me on Instagram at Auto Van Can, you'll most likely see pictures of the service probably once it's all complete and then it, it is absolutely hammering it down with rain today so and I have an oil change and a seasonal changeover wheel swap this afternoon as well so I'm hoping once I get there the rain has calmed down a little bit so I'm running out of time now so my lunch break is over so I'm gonna head away from my commercial contract and get to Kanata and see how the weather is there that's where my next job is and see see what the crack is with that see if I'm still doing an oil change today I haven't heard from my client so they uh, Sometimes clients, if there's super bad weather outside, they'll be like, oh, you know, we can wait. You know, don't come today in the bad rain. So, I mean, I know I work in super cold, but working in the super cold is a lot easier than working in the wet. Yeah, especially for an oil change. You've got to lie on the ground, but that's where a plastic sheet and then the moving blanket gets in handy, and then I have to dry everything out afterwards, and my tools get soaked, but that's neither here or there. That's just part of the job. So, I've talked your head off for long enough so I'm gonna scoot a boot head on to the other side of the city and how see how the weather is there okay so I'm all done the rain absolutely heaved on me for a little bit the first start of the oil change sorry I didn't get any any clips for you and uh, now I was just just busy trying to get the thing done so in the amount of time I finished a few minutes early so now I've got to go to the oil storage depot got rid of my junk from today and it gladly has stopped raining so I, I am gonna leave Kanata I've got about 40 minutes 45 minutes by the sat nav which will take me an hour in the service truck so I'm a slow mofo and I'll drive back to the depot get rid of some junk and uh, then that wraps me up for the week and it is a Saturday so I, I work Tuesday to Saturday Mondays a paperwork day and running around calling dealerships if I need parts from the dealers which I do they need to make some phone calls this week so it's been a busy day so perfect I'll uh, pitter patter all right I'm back again hopefully you can see me all right it's a pretty dull and dreary day it stopped raining finally uh, about halfway through my last service it stopped raining which was good so I got absolutely hammered on hence the bib <laughs> And I had a jacket on too. I think to put these through the wash this weekend. They're due for a bit of a clean. Uh, so now I'm at the storage facility where I uh, keep my recyclables. 
ready for when they get collected by my recycler. So I've got to also put some more windshield wash in the truck too for the service, keep myself nice and topped up. So let's, uh, <laughs> I fell. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's. Okay, let's start with some oil for this uh, recycler that comes to dispose of this because I like like being environmental, I suppose. Yes, well, I have to be. I have a business, but I like doing my part. Hopefully the lighting is all right in here. So I can hold 600 liters of oil. That'll do. Where did I put that lid? There it is. And this, I suppose, is a lot of the stuff that people, especially customers, like customers don't get to see this part, all the extra time that goes into running a business, dealing with the waste, an oil filter. Okay, let's get rid of some coolant. Hopefully I'm still in the shop there. Perfect. Happy days. Let's clean this up. All right, so that about wraps me up for the day. I'm all set. I've restocked the truck. I've got, I put some more screen wash in there. I've got rid of all my waste oil. I unloaded uh, supplies that I purchased, like, I don't know, I bought a big box of shop towels, I bought, got a big box of uh, shop towels here, so I've just restocked the truck, I'll keep me going for a few months, granules, I bought those just in case for this morning's job, but you never know, I mean, they'll come in handy at some point, and look, there's my catch in case ever one of these drums did happen to leak it'll be coarse in there so there we go i think that's that wraps it up for today like i said everything has been restocked ready for next week and uh, next week is another busy week i just had someone call me now and it's like they said oh i mean i'm closed now it's five it's ten to six call me now oh it's stuck <laughs> They're stuck and often the vehicle doesn't start. I've got my own things to do now. It's my weekend. I'm back to work Tuesday and I said, I'm fully booked till Friday afternoon. That's as, <laughs> so I mean, I've got a no start on Tuesday for a diesel truck. I'll be, we'll see what's going on with that. Uh, it died when they were boosting it and they turned it on, tried to crank it at the same time as the other truck. So we'll find out. What's going on with there? Maybe they try to boost it backwards and it fried the PCM. We'll, we'll figure that out on Tuesday. But he, that chap there has been waiting two weeks for me to get to him. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. It's, it's, it's busy season. You know, it's quite common during the peak season to be waiting two, three weeks. I know during the winter months leading up to Christmas, I'm booked a month out to the end of the year. Like especially when the beginning of November hits. I'm booked solid right through to the end of the year. So, what can you do? You can only help so many people. So, anyways guys, you take care, we'll see you soon. And uh, if you like my content, please smash that like button, comment and subscribe. 
and I'll be seeing more of you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.